Hey, good morning everyone. It's Ryan from Resale CMY. I got Paul over here. We're ready to do some more listing today on eBay, but first we need to ship out 14 orders and we creeped over $1,000 today. $1,017.37. So obviously the individual pricing on these is great. Uh, we have a couple of big items going out. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, this makes up a little bit for yes or last week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday just being crap for us. So yeah, we had a we got a deposit today, and it was actually one of our down weeks compared to what was it fifteen hundred and something. Yeah, and we used you tried to do over two grand. It was just at fifteen hundred, I think. So it was a down week for us last week. I don't know if you guys, other resellers, experienced a down week last week, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday was super slow for us last week. And started to pick up and we've been doing good since yeah i think the week before we were over 2500 uh so he's saying i didn't see the message this morning so 1500 going in this week uh, which still isn't horrible but yeah like he said we want to be over that 2000 after we ship today we're gonna have a solid probably 850 900 going in already for uh towards next week so that's great Paul, do you want to bring up your phone? Because mine's still uploading the video from yeah. yesterday. Start pulling. It says it has two minutes re remaining, so probably 67 minutes. All right, first, first thing that's sold here is going to be on the turnstile. It's an M2 Machines Auto Drivers 1967 Chevrolet Nova SS. It's a black one, no top on it. Is that a, doesn't it have a base yeah, to it? Yes, a base, no top. It's a black car. Base, no trouble. All right base, there. no trouble. A little dusty, is that it? Yep, that's it, Monte Carlo SS. Yep. Or no, Nova, Chevy Nova SS, I'm sorry. How much is that? $18 plus Who makes shipping. that? M2 free machines? Shipping. M2 machines. Yeah, $18 those, free shipping. Those can be pretty good. We've had, I mean, there's a few in there that are only like $10 or so with free shipping. But uh, those and those Auto World ones have been pretty good for us. Uh, next is this... Uh, Ben Cooper, witch, hairy, and scary witch costume. This does have uh, condition issues on the box. I noted it, priced it down, sold for $30 plus shipping. Is on it that. still new in there? Yeah, it's still new. This nose this is, is from 1982. Is it? I don't know. Let me check. Well, the, 1982, yep. Yeah, the here. Flintstones one yesterday was 1973. That's crazy, right? That was $30. Someone messaged us a while ago wanting it for $20. And I said I'd give it to them for 25 and they passed up on the deal and uh, ended up selling it for full price. Max, this was a crazy idea. I touched I these yesterday to get I the Olympia. I touched them yesterday and they were here back. and put them back. Yeah, I grabbed them for the... Uh, so we both put our hands on these. These are a pair of working Esquire Nichols Uzi cap gun. It's a collector series vintage toy. These sold $40 plus shipping on no, those. No, and those, those are the cap guns you wanted when you were a kid. Oh, yeah. Pretty awesome. Didn't they have like flip up stuff, all sorts of stuff with it? Just sold another live sale. $16 for a rubber fly. Oh, good. That they haven't paid yet, though. Next is that uh, Devil's Jigger Shot Glass. Where did I put that? Oh, right uh, here. See. Right here. This is Reed and Barton. Holds two ounces. It's like a shot glass. I don't know what a jigger is, but someone else used it in their title. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I mean, it would polish up nice. Someone was asking $115 for this thing, but wanted, only wanted to sold for $25 um, plus shipping. This one is missing some flakes on its face there. Uh, I put it at $19.99 plus shipping and had one watch it for a while and ended up selling for $20. I got another one right over here uh, that I found, after, or Paul found, after I listed that one. So that one's in a little better shape probably end up listening for $24.99 like that other one that sold. Next is, uh, oh, we just sold another thing. Next is this uh, Moen WS8440. That's a oil rub bronze. That's a BRB. That's at the end of that title. That's a Friday garage sale plan. Yep. Five bucks I had into this at a garage sale. I actually went back to make sure I grabbed it. $50. I didn't say it was complete. I said it looks complete. Attempted to install. It looked like a return, honestly, from a Lowe's or something. Um, I put all the parts and pieces out on the table. The guy messaged me saying he only needed three pieces to it. Oh, really? Yeah, he needed the faucet. So he's going to be happy with it regardless. And the bottom, he needed like three pieces to it. We had all those pieces in the pictures. He wanted to double check. I double checked <clears> and sent him a message back saying we do have those pieces you look for. And 
he bought it right away, right after that. Brand new at Lowe's, I think the receipt said like 160 bucks or something. Uh, we did buy that. The guy was like, oh yeah, it's new and never put it in, but he didn't fail to mention that someone else had put it in, returned it, and then he put it, he bought it on like an employee discount. But it still worked out great, five into 50 bucks overnight too. Immediately. Who thinks you're gonna sell a faucet for that's been open and stuff for oh, mowing. that guy was looking at it you yeah and mo mowing. mowing's great you guys see mowing anything like that pick it up because parts and pieces are worth a lot of yeah, money even the interior even the little tiny pieces like odds and ends thing. i grabbed it for five bucks and a 50 overnight and then next is that uh ghost the t-shirt you listed the ghostbusters oh okay the black one yep the black one the they had paid they had bought this the day before uh but it was a waiting payment I sent out an offer for $60, and someone came and picked it up. I think it's this one right here, yeah. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Hold on a second. Let me tap the back here. There's Cabas and Luna. What are you guys doing? Full-blown fighting all morning so far? Nice talk. Right there. I ain't afraid of no ghost. You can see the ghosts and some of the lettering's a little yellow. This is a size medium. It actually, let me hang it up right here actually still has the old jc penny tag on it it was eight and then marked down this is size medium sportswear pretty cool shirt i think it took a day to sell at 60. um there's another blue one over there that i have for 35 bucks because it has uh, some staining from being folded up for over a couple decades you ready yep uh, we have two live sales that went off. They paid? The, they paid and the same buyer. We'll grab those real quick. Oh, a jiggler. So we had a jigger and now a jiggler. Hey, has got this little rubber fly for $16. Nice. I wonder if this is a viewer. Just throw it. They couldn't fly. <laughs> they couldn't fly. <laughs> viewer sale, chuck it. Yeah, just the old vintage rubber fly. Anytime you see something like this, uh, write Jiggler in the title. Because a lot of times, these old, I think it's like Hong Kong or something. Yeah, Hong Kong. Uh, the Jigglers can be worth some good money. And obviously, you can see why they're called the Jiggler. And next is this one. Cool to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. This was... Uh, Same buyer as the Jiggler. That's this, just painter's tape holding it together. Yeah, that's a uh, vintage 1980s clear plastic anatomy body parts 24 inch human with all the guts in there that sold 12 dollars plus shipping 16 dollars free shipping on the fly so we just add it in there and it uh, goes with it uh, we don't have to refund you anything put it inside the body yeah or somewhere <laughs> and uh 28 dollars plus shipping on those you can always uh, chuck it on the ground and next we'll go to 12a 12b i mean 1985 Remco. If that last uh, sale was a viewer, thank you very much. Kind of have a feeling it was. Hemingway or Kurt Henning, Mr. Perfect, eleven ninety nine free shipping. Mr. Perfect, oh, crooked as jaws. How much? Twelve bucks. Yep. Yeah, this came from the meth buy, I think it said. Yeah, it did. So we'll just throw this in a bubble mailer, and that'll go out. You'd probably make like eight bucks off that fella. Next one's a dinger. Oh, a dinger, nice. So this is the second one of these to sell. This is an R2D2 cookie jar. As you can see, it's brand new. Um, 1977. Yeah, that's awesome. We had two of them. $190 plus shipping on that. Yeah, they both went out. It's going uh, international too, right? International. They paid $302 to get it. Yeah. I see when they what comes through, I was like, well, Holly, they paid over 300 bucks to get that to their house. That's a lot of money. Okay. Next I got my the phone now. Glasses in the glasses box. Oh, boy. A whole slew of them. Glasses. 10 Looney Tunes glasses. $100 plus ship. And they're going to be these three back rows right here, Paul. Okay. So I'll grab a couple. Want to set them up here out of your way and we'll leave no, them here? No, them on the table. I got room today. Okay. Come right over there. <clears throat> okay, so these Looney Tunes glasses are great. These ones are all from 1973. There's going to be 10 of them in total. Uh, you saw, <clears throat> if you watched uh, yesterday's video, 
I had two sets of McDonald's glasses going out. Uh, I did all those the same day. Just cleaned them all up and um, got them listed. I have another set over there, I believe from 1973. Um, so I'll get them listed today. But there's the 10 glasses. Uh, someone sent an offer for $60 and I had countered it like 80 or 85. And someone came along and bought them for full price like a day or two later. $100 plus shipping. That's awesome sale. Yeah, that Here's another awesome sale. D29. We also sold one of these yesterday. This yeah. is a 1994 Fossil Disney Collectors Club Series 3 Dumbo Watch. New in its box. Yeah, I'm going to open that up. <clears throat> you can see the yep. same one as yesterday too it has the three crows that go around ticking has the mouse pin up there yeah 70 bucks this is also going international shipping okay next is uh garage sale pickup paul grabbed the other day p90x sealed pick this up for two dollars so for thirty dollars uh it says plus shipping but this is actually thirty dollars free shipping it only says plus shipping because this again is going international we had all sorts of international sales yesterday i think at a one point we had like eight sales and like four or five of them were seven of them and four of them were uh international yeah that's crazy um when you list this do not write beach body so when i copied a listing i went into the item specifics even and erased beach body um, no one's like for some reason that beach body's a Vero or something like that. So just uh, just be wary when you list that. I knew we were taking a chance with that. All right, Paul's grabbing that. Some bedding there. I'm gonna go over here. We got D17. We have right here. You can see we have Spider Man. Little uh, ice pop things there. Literally the one on top. What's the chances? Flintstones ice pops. The one that sold though. I'm pretty sure this is international too. Yep. Yeah, it is. This is international. Hulk ice pops. We had this before. Sold it. Um, ended up finding another one in one of the totes we got from Dan's. This sold again. Thirty-two dollars plus shipping. Brand new in the package. It is from. 1979 so that's a cool one uh that should go right in one of those 30 by dollars eight uh, boxes yep 32 plus next was this uh vintage 70s martex pink floral twin fitted sheet atelier and uh that sold 11 dollars plus shipping on that okay got another where is this this, last e -E. this is, this is the last sale i actually mentioned this in the video yesterday because i sold the uh little golden books i think this was 12 dollars I picked this up. It's a uh, Enforcer Dare Enforcer 110 volt electric powered fence energizer for 150 acres. There, I'll put this over here. Picked it up for 12 bucks. I've uh, sold these kind of things before. It sold on offer $40 plus shipping. But yeah, that's it. So obviously 100, 190. You know, 50, 70, you know, 40. Th these add up really quickly, obviously, because actually we're going to have a new total too, huh? Yep. So now instead of 14 orders, 16. it's going to be 16. Well, that last one's a combined order, but still. Uh, so the new total is $1,064.82. It's a great way to start the week. Um, we're going to ship this, this will ship out pretty quick and then we can get right back to list them. I already got some, some stuff pulled out, ready to list. I already did, I think three listings this morning while Paul was still sleeping or something. I don't know what yeah, yeah. took him so long, but, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, just going to be sales in this one over a thousand dollars. Great way to start the week. Please comment, like, and subscribe. We've been growing a lot. Uh, at least for us on YouTube. I think we've been getting like three, four, five subscribers a day on average. Awesome. Let's keep that going. We're over 800. Thank you all for that. Please uh, leave questions, comment. 
we want to be more active on YouTube, see if it helps out a little, little bit more. So thank you. We'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.